Rocks appear. All right, hey guys. I'm gonna today. I'm gonna show you how to get the best possible quality. Well, really good quality with um, Easy Cap or Dazzle. <clears throat> um, I use a program called Virtual Dub. It's probably by far the best program you can use for Easy Cap or Dazzle. I don't recommend using the devices programs because um, I always get bad uh, quality with them and audio lag and everything. So I recommend getting virtual dub. If you don't know how, just go to Google. Get it once my computer um, Google. Uh, And then type in virtual dub. Oh shit, virtual dub. Dub. And then go to their website and download it. Or their, whatever, it's really easy. Yeah, just go download and download it. Uh, once you have virtual dub, open it up, of course gonna look like this with a big white screen and menus up here um okay I'll do a video later on or today how to hook up an easy cap or dazzle vein you don't know how I'll make a video of that but after you do that and you have it all hooked up and um you have this downloaded go to file and capture ABI and your your screen will pop up here whatever you have on your computer or I mean on uh, your TV, um, it'll pop up here, and once you have it popped up there, um, go to or I recommend using S Video because Composite really doesn't give the best. I mean S Video doesn't need a bunch of way better than Composite. So, but if you have S Video, just go to Video Video Source and pick S Video. It'll be down here. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. Once you have that, um, yeah. Do all that, capture your value, and pick your crap. And then once you have your video here, I'll just open mine up. My video. Okay. Once you put your video up, after you record it, it's going to look like this. You're going to have two screens. One, it, you, it looks like whenever you recorded it. One looks like after you uh, render it on here. So, yeah. I'm going to show you my settings that I use to get really good quality and remove the lines and everything. First of all, if your audio lags. I can show you how to fix it. Just go to audio interleaving and make sure that's enabled. Um, checked off. Don't mess with any of that stuff. <coughs> you don't have to. Um, okay, if your video audio or audio lags by like five seconds, put negative 500. It's 100 for each second. So, see, so use positive values if the audio is playing too early, and negative values if it's audio playing too late. So, if your audio is playing, <coughs> mine plays too late so uh, put negative however many seconds just test it out. I always use a thousand to my audio lag pad but yeah just put whatever you need and it'll fix it just mess around with it till you find the sync audio with the video um, then go to video and filters okay if your video has lines on it you can just go to add and hit D for D interlace hit OK okay once this screen comes up and this is only if you have lines on your video <clears throat> you probably will if you're using Easy Cap or Dazzle. <clears throat> um, once you have this screen up, just hit double frame rate top, double frame rate top field first, blend fields. Hit OK, and it should it'll take away the line on your video. Um, it's not going to be as sharp as the first one, but it's still very good quality. And once you render it, it'll be sharp, like in Sony Vegas. If you render it in HD. Um, yeah, filters. Oh, you can also add a resize thing if your video is not full, whatever. Um, yeah, you can add a lot. Just look around at those. I only use the interlace because that's the only one I need. <coughs> um, yeah. Uh, if you want to render it from here, hit save it. Well, you have to if you're going to get rid of lines and stuff. Hit save as AVI and just save it as whatever. And it'll start saving. And once it's done, it'll take, see this is what I recorded, that's what it's going to look like, and that's what it looked like before. But, <coughs> it'll, you have to do this, because if you don't, if you just save it, it oh, you got to do that, but, it'll take away the lines and everything, and help you. And this is what I, that, those are the only things that I use, and that I get really good quality with it. So, yeah, pretty much all you really need to know. Um, I'm going to make a, like I said, I'm going to make a setup video. Um, of how I set up the easy cap and stuff. 
probably tonight or tomorrow, and that should help you more if you don't know how to hook it up or whatever. Um, yeah, but those are the settings I use. That's pretty much it. Oh, and it's not even here. I might as well show you the Sony Vegas thing I used to. Let me this one. Five, that's what I did. Okay, I'm going to show you the settings I use for this to render. If you all need it. Wait for the load. Yeah, but the Easy Cab was only seven ninety nine. The tax came to ten. I got it from eBay. I got it for my birthday actually. Um, yeah, but I'd recommend buying that. Don't buy a Dazzle or her. even if you don't. Yeah, um, HD PVR you can get one if you want, but I like the Easy Cab because it's pretty much the same quality and it's like one hundred and eighty bucks cheaper. So, but if you all want to do that, it's fine. It's it's probably less hassle with one of them, but you can get it. To be good on this. Okay. Hit, so of course, whenever you have your video in, put your intro and your video in. Um, here I'll show you what to do for this. Okay. Drag your video in here. Um, what you want to do? See those black bars? If you want to make them go away, hit um, right-click the video. Make sure you right-click the video, not the audio. Um, hit properties. Um, uncheck maintain aspect ratio. It'll go into widescreen or whatever. Okay, if you still have a line up top <coughs> there, you can just hit this, this little box right here at the end of your timeline. Hit that, drag it down, and it'll make take the line away. It just exit out of it. Um, okay, now for the rendering. Hit render as, of course. Okay, come over the screen like this. Hit custom if you want to edit it. I always have mine to this. So I thought it was there. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Put it as that. Hit custom. Okay. Go down to video and then if this is your uh, quality right here. All your image sizes you can make it. You can make it custom if you want. You don't have to do the 2080 by or 1280 by 720 if you don't want to. You can I always have mine at sharpest. Um, pick whatever one you want. I'd recommend doing HD. Um, sometimes it can make it look worse if it's in HD, so if you want to, just record it in 640 by 640, or, shit, yeah, 640 by 480. Um, if it's looking bad, try it in that and render it and see what it looks like. But I always do HD, because I start using HD caps. Just use HD for where it looks good. That's the thing I use anyway, so. Uh, you don't really m need to mess around with any of this stuff. Project, yeah, go to best on that make sure it's the best it might take a little long to render but it's worth it if you all have fast internet it won't take that long mine takes like maybe two hours at most um yeah well make sure you have all these settings that i have and you should well those settings and everything you should be good to get my quality then of course hit render as and you're pretty much done um yeah that's pretty much all you need to know on my evening, sorry. Yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know. Uh, if y'all have any other questions or I didn't explain something good enough, just let me know and I'll explain it again. Um, thanks for watching, guys. And like I said, I'll make that video on how to hook up the Easy Cap either today or tomorrow or the other. Um, all right, peace and thanks for watching.